In two previous segments, we showed that the President's border wall is not a wall, but a fence, similar to that built under the Secure Fence Act of 2006, and how the definition of operational control can be the basis for measuring border security. In this segment, we will show how it is possible to count every illegal border crosser so operational control can be measured. On October 18, 2017, the Department of Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection issued a request for information seeking sources for border technology called linear ground detection. The system should be capable of detecting all threats without being affected by blind spots, in other words, non-line of sight. It should be capable of discriminating between human, animal, and vehicle targets in all terrains, landscapes, and weather conditions. It should be scalable and deployable throughout the southwest and northern borders. On November 7, 2017, Border Technology, a small Arizona company, submitted a response to the request for information based on technology it called SIDARM, or Seismic Detection and Ranging Mechanism. SIDARM is capable of meeting the specifications in the DHS CBP RFI. Nine months later, DHS CBP requested a demonstration of the Border Technology System. The demonstration took place on September 5th, 2018. It was done remotely with live video seen by Customs and Border Protection Science and Technology Evaluation in Washington, D.C. It was successful. The idea behind Sidearm began 15 years ago when Glenn Spencer, head of the nonprofit American Border Patrol, began using seismic sensors to evaluate border security. Spencer adapted technology he learned running a seismic exploration company to develop a complete system. Initially called the Sonic Barrier, the system was first demonstrated for members of the Arizona State Legislature in 2010. So what we are going to be showing you today is a way to solve that problem. It's essentially a border accounting system. It's more than just a detection system. It is a way to count everybody that's on the border. Oh. Well, most agree we need to secure the border. That's really not the issue. The issue is, how do we know when the border is secure? How do we measure that? News for us, Brenda Gano shows us why one group thinks an old technology may hold a new answer. Is this right here the answer to border security? It's just a little geophone. It's a magnet inside of a coil. Best part, you can see it's very tough, but it can still sense the smallest vibrations like somebody walking across the border. And today, we got a demonstration of how it works. In seven years, the sonic barrier became sidearm. Instead of a single geophone, its new pod incorporated 12 of them from six sidearm sensors are processed by a seismograph. The sensors are offset to allow triangulation. The entire system is buried and powered by solar panels. 20 nodes are connected to make up a segment, the basic building block. One computer handles five miles of sidearm sensors sending alarms by radio. One mile of sidearm has been installed on the border in Arizona. This graphic display is for testing purposes. Following demonstration, you will see part of this alarm display in the upper left-hand corner. Sensor color denotes confidence level. Gold is medium and red is high. Audio alarms are sent for red. People red. Ground sensors presently in use by the U.S. Border Patrol have a detection range of from 30 to 40 feet. Sidearm has demonstrated a red level detection of 500 feet from the sensor line. People red. People red. Offset sensors allow triangulation of location. In this demonstration, a Hummer H2 is detected by sidearm.
The blue line is from a GPS tracking device on the Hummer. This is what the sidearm alarm system looked like when a low-flying aircraft flew over. This is the aircraft. U.S. Customs and Border Protection radar could not detect this aircraft. On April 18, 2017, a patent was issued for the sidearm technology. Sidearms inventors are confident it can meet the requirements given in the Customs and Border Protection request for information. And while the system could estimate the number of border crossers, a way was found to make it count accurately. It is called Hermes.